Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this video is a 15 minute tutorial on how to install WordPress manually. Um, I'm sure you're aware that uh, most of the, 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 the best web hosts offer uh, one click installation which is a lot easier than uh, installing WordPress manually. So I've got, uh, I've written a blog post on that and uh, you'll find that on the side under the under the hosting tab if you're simply wanting to install WordPress for the first time. Uh, but this tutorial I'll explain how to install WordPress manually. What you'll need to complete uh, the installation of WordPress manually is an FTP client. I'm using Fire FTP which is a free Firefox add-on. Uh, there's also uh, FileZilla, which you're probably aware of. This is one of the most uh, the most popular. Um, I do use this as well, but this uh, this this smaller uh, FTP clients uh, are very very basic. So I'll use that in this tutorial. Now I've already downloaded WordPress. Um, I've gone to Google and typed in "download WordPress" and I've downloaded it to my desktop. Here it is here. I've un uh, extracted the files and when I've e extracted it, it's created another folder within the folder. So I, I don't want to transfer that across to the web host on, on my web server. What I want to do is open it up and transfer the contents of that directory across to my web server. So uh, here's my, my web server now. I'll, I'll connect to it. And what I'm doing is I'm installing WordPress in a subdomain. So I've created the, the new directory for the subdomain in cPanel, and it's called Videos. So you can you can install you can use this to, tutorial to install WordPress to your public HTML directory for one site, or you can create a subdomain or a subdirectory or an add-on domain. It, it doesn't really matter. It's all going into a, a specific uh, directory. In my case, it'll be videos. So I'll open up the videos directory. This is uh, this is where I want to install WordPress. I've already got one folder in there because I had a go at it before. Uh, but we'll just overwrite that. That's no problem. But this should be empty when you first start out. Um, now on the left-hand side here, I've opened up uh, I've opened up WordPress. But I'll just locate this again. Now it's WordPress 3.2.1, and I'll click on WordPress, and I'll, I've got the contents of the WordPress uh, download here. So I want to highlight all these. And now they're all highlighted. All these contents are going to go over into the directory on the web server, uh, into the videos directory, because that's where I want to install WordPress. So I'll click this green arrow, and they'll go across. Override all of them. Obviously, already got one in there. Okay, while the files are transferring across from my local system to my web server, uh, the next step is to create a database. So I'll go into uh, cPanel, and uh, if your web host isn't using cPanel, I suggest you find a new web host because cPanel is fantastic. It's the best program to, to manage your server. It includes all the different uh, software packages and, it, and it's a fantastic system. So, uh, if you're using cPanel, just scroll down to MySQL Database Wizard and it's a very simple process. Um, I'm just going to name this WPDID. Create a name for the database. Put in a password. Password, I'll just make ABC123. ABC123. Uh, the name, the username, I'll just put my name in Brad. Create user. And well, here we have all the information here. So we'll take this and we'll just copy this into Notepad because we're going to use this in a minute. We'll have to um, configure the uh, one of the files in WordPress to connect to the database. It's called the wp-config file. Okay, so we'll just save this. Click all privileges. Next step. Okay, now that's done. So we don't uh, we don't need cPanel anymore. 
Now you can actually do this step before you upload the transfer the files to your web server. You can go into the WordPress uh, files and you can edit the WP config sample file and you can put these these details in. So uh, <coughs> password was ABC123. So if you're wanting to do this step before you transfer the files to your web server, you just simply open up the, uh, the WordPress files and we've got here the WP uh, config sample file. We'll open this up in uh, Notepad++, which is a free editor. Um, if you don't have that, just type that into Google uh, and install Notepad++ because this is one of the best uh, the best ways to edit PHP files. And we'll just open this up. Now we need to put this information in here. It says DB name, DB user, DB password. So we've got the information we, we've just received from uh, when we created the database in cPanel. So the password's ABC123. Uh, that'll go in here. So we'll just go over the top here and paste that in. Um, we've got the database name. And we'll put that in. Paste. And the username. So we'll take the full username. We can delete that now. And we'll just paste that over. Okay, so that's all. Make sure you don't leave any gaps there. You see what's happening there? Alright, <coughs> that's all we need to do is edit the DB name, DB user, and DB password. Close this, save the changes. And now we have to rename this. So we right click on it, rename it to wp-config. So we'll just delete the sample from the end. Enter. Close that up and we'll transfer that across uh, into, uh, onto the web server. So that'll connect the, uh, your, your WordPress files to the database you've just created. So once this is all uh, transferred across to your web server, uh, then we'll run the installation script which is included in the WordPress files. Let's just have a, a little bit of a chat about what we're actually doing here. We've got all, all the uh, WordPress files on the left and uh, a, Word, a WordPress installation consists of three uh, what they call directory file folders and here they are here WP admin, WP content, WP includes plus a whole stack of uh, individual files, most of which are PHP files. So all these these three directories and the individual files, these make up WordPress. This will this will all make WordPress run. Um, all you need to do is transfer these and host them on a web server, which we're doing now, and then connect them to a database, which we've created in cPanel. And uh, to, to connect the files to the database you have to um, edit the WP config um, file which we've just done. I've just showed you how to do that. And there's there's many many more tutorials on my on my website and they explain all the different uh, all the different parts of uh, downloading, installing uh, WordPress and, and also um, WP config files uh, and there's, there's quite a, a huge range of them on my website so you'll be able to find them there so uh, we'll just wait for this to complete and uh, we'll run the installation script which is very straightforward and you'll see WordPress up and running so in, 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 in my case I've decided to install WordPress in a, in a subdomain in, in videos um, Stop for some reason. Oh, that's, that's no problem. Um, but you can you can simply if, if if you're a beginner and you're simply wanting to install WordPress manually, you'd install it into your public HTML uh, directory rather than a, a subdomain, which I'm doing.
Just before we finish up here and run the installation script for WordPress, I thought I'd uh, direct you to a tutorial on unlimited FTP. Um, if you're comfortable using FTP, then this won't interest you, but uh, some people when they first start out, they're not comfortable with the, with the file system and uh, or using an FTP client like FileZilla or any FTP client. But if you, if you do uh, feel comfortable using cPanel on your web server, and some hosts, they do offer a, a tool called Unlimited FTP, and, uh, and I know Bluehost do, and um, and it's basically just a built-in FTP program that's built into cPanel. So uh, here's the, the the system here. It's a, it's the same system as an FTP client, but it's, it just seems a lot more easy to understand if you if you're struggling to, to use FTP. You know, it's a, a, it's 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 similar to the cPanel file manager setup. Uh, you've got your uh, You've got your local system on the left and your, uh, your public HTML directory, your web server on the right here. So it's very easy to use. So that's that's something to consider if you if you don't like FTP or you're just not comfortable using FTP. Okay, now the transfer is complete. So we've uh, we've transferred the full contents of the WordPress uh, download um, across to our web server. On this occasion, I'll put it into a, a subdomain called Videos. In your situation, uh, for the first time, it'd probably just be public HTML, but at the moment I've got my main site in public HTML, which is WordPressSites.net, and I've decided to create another site called Videos, and so that's the reason I'll put it into the Videos subdomain, which I've created in cPanel. So that's it for FTP. We're finished with FTP. The next step is to go along to your browser and type in your domain. In my case, it's videos.wordpresssites.net. And after after your domain, put in WordPress um, hyphen admin forward slash install.php, and that'll access the installation script. Um, which you've just uploaded in those WordPress files to your domain, and and then uh, then you'll get this screen here. So this is this is what I put in for a site title. I um, I'll just put in uh, videos. You can put in whatever you like. Put a username and password in. It's better to change that from admin. Try to use at least ten digit username and ten digit password. For security purposes, it makes it very difficult for hackers to to hack in if you've got more than ten digits for both your username and your password. So I'll just put in a, a password here: ABC123. Uh, this is just for testing purposes. Uh, email address and click install WordPress. And there we have it. WordPress is installed. We can log into the back end, put your username and password in, and WordPress should be uh, successfully installed. So we'll just have a look at the front end and we'll have a look to, uh, to see if that's the case. And here we go here. This is a new installation, <coughs> excuse me, a new installation of WordPress. This is the default theme. Which WordPress comes uh, installed with. It's a free theme. Uh, it's called 2011, and, and it's quite a good theme. Now you'll find more insta uh, information on this uh, tutorial. I've also written a, t a full uh, text tutorial on how to install WordPress manually using a five-step process. So it covers uh, it covers all the five steps that you need to complete to install WordPress manually. Um, and I've also got links to uh, to other tutorials, which will uh, it'll cover the full process. So uh, it's a very comprehensive tutorial, and I'll also place this video on this particular uh, tutorial as well. So so if you if you get stuck and you have any problems, uh, you can refer to this um, to to help you solve the problem. Cheers and uh, good luck with WordPress.